Good afternoon, everyone. And Nora, I won't hold it against you because you're still a fan. I'm a die-hard die cowboy fan. Ah. That's okay. Well, good morning, dignitaries, election officials, citizens, and friends. Whether you live here, work here, or visit here, I'm here to tell you the state of our tremendous city, the capital of the Keystone State, Harrisburg, is stronger than it has ever been in decades. Today, in this moment, we celebrate what we have accomplished, but we will not be complacent. What we started is strong, but we are not satisfied. In just 10 months, we have accomplished so much, but there is so much left to do. What has been done through wouldn't be possible without the assistance of my dear friends. My three amigos, Commissioner Priest, Mike Priest, Commissioner Chad Seller, and Commissioner George Hartwork III. Please give them a hand. But I'd also like to thank our partners on the state level. Governor Tom Wolf, the Department of Community Economic Development, Department of Transportation, and the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. We share a home in this great city, and it's wonderful to have tremendous neighbors. This will not be your typical state of the city address. Then again, if you know me, and I think many of you do, I am not your typical mayor. Yeah. No. It is my preference to sit down with each and every one of you, person to person, face to face, and have a conversation about your needs and concerns so everyone in the city can be successful. It is how, it is how I built my career for decades. First, as a union rep, then as a school board president, and most recently as president of the Harrisburg City Council for 12 years. In the past, the mayor has stood here and waxed poetically for 10 minutes about all the great things going on in the city of Harrisburg and all the great things to come. Frankly, it's self-serving because whether you're a mayor of a city or run a business, you cannot do it on your own. It's oftentimes the people behind you who make those cogs click. By now, you have noticed there are people beside me. Some you recognize, others maybe not so much. By the time we leave here today, you'll only know their names, but know their importance. Without them, the city of Harrisburg does not function. Dave Baker, Steve Bordner, Thomas Carter, Denise Hill, Marita Kelly, Gina Roberson, and Carl Singleton are all a small part of the city of Harrisburg's great turnaround. There are nearly 400 people who work across the street there, serving you every day. And if I had my way, all 400 would come up and take a bow because they are the most resourceful, committed employees to the city of Harrisburg. But then we'd be here until Sunday, and my Cowboys play at one o'clock. <laughs> Jokes aside, you will hear from each of them over the course of the next hour and how the city is better today than it was 10 months ago. First, in the areas of economic development, housing, public safety, diversity and inclusion, technology, community engagement, recreation, and finance. I say finance for less. Today, you will hear from Agrita Kelly, the city's finance director. 
In January, I had to meet a go to once and for all eliminate the $125 million debt this city has been paying off for 25 years. We not only hit that mark, I need to applaud, we hit that mark. <laughs> but very, very soon, we'll say goodbye to the assurance debt as well. More than 12 million will go back into our annual budget. Money that will go towards safer roads, more police officers and firefighters, sanitation workers, and other capital investments the city has lacked for three decades. You will hear from Denise Hill, our Director of Housing and Economic Development. She will tell you how we are combating homelessness every day providing more affordable housing to our residents and bringing businesses into the city, which will eliminate the food desserts. Dave Baker, Director of Parks and Recreation and Facilities, will tell you about the new parks on their way to Harrisburg and how more than $2.5 million in grants is making them cleaner, greener, and safer for our youth. Carl Singleton, our Chief of Equity and Inclusion, will explain the steps we are taking to make Harrisburg more diverse than ever before. With his support and deep knowledge, we are here to let you know Harrisburg is open for business. And it does not matter who you are. We want you. We will accept you. And in this city, we will embrace you. Our Director of Information Technology, Steve Bordner, is here to explain a whole lot better than I ever could how a brand new mainframe system will help take the city of Harrisburg out of the early ages of internet computing and into the new millennium of computing and how it affects every single person in this room. My advisor, Gina Roberson, will share with you how in only 10 months We've become more engaged in this community than we ever could have imagined. Harrisburg has been my home for more than 67 years, and I want all of you to be just as proud of living here as I am. And lastly, Commissioner Tom Carter will share what his men and women on the police force are doing to take a record number of guns off the street, and why he feels the Harrisburg Bureau of the Police will reach its full complement of officers next year for the first time in a decade. I also want to give a special shout out to Fire Chief Brian Enterline. The work he and the Harrisburg Fire Department has done this year is second to none. While calls to service have risen, they too have risen to the challenge of protecting Harrisburg citizens. The Harrisburg Bureau of Police is staffed 24 hours a day, 365 days out of a year, seven days a week. They are always on call, ready to spring into action. Oftentimes, they respond to fires in the city in under five minutes, which is an accomplishment. It is, to believe, it is believed to be the fastest in the fire department's history. Because of that, I am beyond proud to say not a single life has been lost under their watch in the year 2022. <laughs> and it's not just lives being saved, it's property as well. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of property has been saved by our firefighters this year. Furthermore, a lack of volunteer firefighters is putting an even greater dependence on our firefighters. Mutual aid assistance from municipalities outside the city is at an all-time high, and it's not uncommon for Harrisburg firefighters to still arrive first on the scene. And the respect our firefighters are putting to Harrisburg's name is more than just local. It's national. 
Eight members of the Harrisburg Fire Department just returned home from Florida, where they helped search and rescue missions in the wake of Hurricane Ian as members of PA Task Force One, an elite group of first responders working under FEMA. We thank you, firefighters, and salute your work at home and around the nation. Harrisburg has a place at the lobby and table more than ever. In addition to mayor, I am also a board member of the Harrisburg Parking Committee, the Downtown Improvement District, and the Pennsylvania Municipal League. We just held our annual conference in Pittsburgh two weeks ago. What does that mean for all of you? It means, for the first time, we have a voice statewide on the issues which matter most to municipalities. Next, you will hear from members of my great team. But before they come forth, I would like to introduce the backbone of my administration. From day one to present, he has hit the ground running, and I, and I have to get a rope to hold him because I would never know where he is. His name is Mr. Dan Hartman. Please stay, Dan. Dan has so much energy, I'm always looking and he's always running. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, people of Harrisburg, we are 10 months into a journey to rebuild this city. In January, we started work with no budget in place at all. Imagine picking up a rental car with no gas in the tank. Yet, the people in that building across the street banded together because we all love this city. Many of us were born here. Many of us raised our families here. We are Harrisburg, just like all of you. And for the next three years, and God willing, four more after that, the best is yet to come. At this time, it's my pleasure to welcome to the podium my dear friend and someone who the city of Harrisburg is blessed to have leading our public safety division, Commissioner Thomas Carter. Thank you all.